give me a ride? I can't do it. I can't marry him. All right, come on. I got you. Just get me out of here, please. I live in Vinewood Hills, Kimball Hill Drive. Oh, God, thank you so much. I was starting to think nobody was going to stop. People see a girl screaming in a wedding dress and they assume, crazy? He's the crazy one, not me. Talk about anger issues. No, I couldn't go through with it. I'm not ready. Ugh, just the thought of waking up next to that caveman every morning for the rest of my life. Ugh, it gives me hives. Why is it men turn into such douchebags? It's all flowers, and I respect you at the beginning. The next thing you know, they're taking a dump with the door open and yelling for a beer. Ugh. I just want to go home, pack up my things, and put this all behind me. You must think I'm so terrible. <laughs> Whatever, girl. Shit, it's a free country. Oh my god! No! I think that's him! He's coming after me! Leave me alone! I'm done with you! You're done when I say you're done! Get me away from him, please! I can't go back there! And you was gonna marry this nigga? That dress makes you look bad! You were always out of my league! See you or your mother again! Take me home. I can't wait to get out of this stupid dress. You got it. 
I should never have let it go this far. Oh God, what's my dad going to say? He spent 10 grand just on ice sculptures for the reception. We had these cute little cell phone covers made with our photo on them. It was going to be so fabulous. Oh yeah, yeah, it sure sound like it. Oh God, I hope they don't make me give back the gifts. Ugh, whatever, anything to be rid of him. And at least I lost all that weight. Damn, what did you even see in that guy? On paper, he was perfect. Rich, successful, the big car, the house in Vinewood Hills. And he was nice to me, sometimes, after the rages. I thought I could change him. Are you married? Hell no. Nah. And listening to you, I ain't in no damn rust, neither. And I know he did some hooker on his bachelor party, but he just kept smiling and talking about his stupid bro past. You know, he told me once that infidelity doesn't count out of state. Well, guess who's got the honeymoon tickets? Two can play at that game. I might even get pregnant. I'll have some Greek waiter's baby, see how he likes that. There was no way I was having kids with that Neanderthal. The thought of perpetuating his DNA? Ugh, I couldn't do that to the world. Damn, and you got over this fast. You should see his friends. They were all there, hungover, grinning like a bunch of slow kids at a petting zoo. I have never met bigger douchebags in my life. I would literally rather disembowel myself with a jagged piece of glass than play hostess to those morons ever again. And his mother? Of course I could never live up to her, could I? The way he ran around after her, her and her prolapse. I seriously think some weird stuff went down with those two. I bet he used to bathe her. Wow. You tell it like it is, don't you? Anyway, I, I don't want to talk about him anymore. I just want this all to be over. Thank you so much. You saved me from the worst decision of my life. <laughs>